clashes between two parties meant to be on the same side, Houthi rebels and fighters aligned with former President Ali Abdullah Saleh. Dozens have been killed and wounded since the violence began in Yemen's capital on Wednesday. Now the split has evolved past Sana'a to Saudi Arabia. Saleh has called for talks, not just with the Houthis, but with the Saudi-led coalition, if they stop their air attacks. They need to lift the blockade and open the airports, and allow food and medicine into the country. We will open a new page for them for dialogue. What is happening in Yemen is enough. A coalition statement welcomed Saleh's move, saying it would redeem Yemen from the evils of Iranian terrorist and sectarian militias, returning it to the pan-Arab pure and natural fold. But the Houthis, who are backed by Iran, say they still have support from members of Saleh's political party and address Saleh directly. We used to praise your position in the past, even though it was one of words only, which came with its fair share of backstabbing, disappointment, discouragement, disobedience and many other problems. We remained patient, but that wasn't enough for you. Shame on you, a big shame. They were never natural allies, but Saleh struck a fragile alliance with the Houthis after a popular uprising ended his decades-long rule in 2012. Saleh now says he wants a quick end to the conflict, which has evolved into the world's largest humanitarian crisis. But others believe Saleh is personally motivated. It seems to me that there might be some collaboration between regional powers and um, Saleh and maybe the uh, legitimate government to somehow um, overthrow the Houthis first and then have a ser serious political talk. This is what it looks like uh, where the whole thing is headed. The two sides have fought together for years. It's widely thought that the Houthis would never have been able to take over the capital without Saleh's help. But now their fractured allegiance is threatening to tear Sana'a and its people apart. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.